Kind of the higher level motivation for this research is the plain and simple fact that students have an immense amount of information that they're expected to learn across several different classes. Um, but coupled with the fact that they have a limited amount of time and energy that they can spend learning the information. So the question is, what is the most effective study strategy for students to use to maximize both of those goals, to be able to learn everything they have to learn, but in the most efficient way possible? And when I say learn everything they have to learn, ultimately what we're shooting for is long-term learning, right? durable learning, acquisition of a knowledge base, and not just transient familiarity with information that then you forget shortly after you take an exam. So um, that makes the problem even trickier, not only what is an efficient way to learn, but what's an efficient way to learn for the long term. Right? A common misconception that students have, um, or a common strategy they report using it, at least, is what we refer to as cramming. That is, the night before an exam, spend four hours poring over everything, and then walk in and take your exam the next day. Actually, um, research suggests that that's not a bad strategy if you are going to take your exam in relatively short amount of time, right? The problem is it's very, very bad for long-term retention. You'll do okay on your exam, but you're not going to remember that information for much, uh, much beyond that exam. A better use of your time is to take the same four hours and spread it out. Say, do an hour on four different days. It's the same exact amount of time, but the payoff is huge. The, the, the advantage from memory is much greater if you spread that time out across days rather than doing it all in one fell swoop right before an exam. The simplest way to explain our research is um, with respect to a very common uh, technique that students use, namely flashcards. So the basic idea being that you use that cue on the front to try to retrieve the target information or the definition from memory, and then of course you flip the card over to check to see if what you've remembered is the right answer. Most students will report using their flashcards, going through the stack until they get an item right once. But then the question is, after you get an item right once, what should you do with it? Well, most students say, well, I take it out of the stack and I stop studying it. Our research suggests that that's a mistake, that actually it is time well spent keeping items in the stack of flashcards until you've gotten um, an answer, you, until you've correctly recalled an answer from memory at least three times. After that, there appears to be pretty rapidly diminishing benefit of going beyond three, but at least up to three. Um, it's worth your time. Another question is, well, how many other days should you pick that stack back up? There again, our research right now is suggesting that the answer is at least three more times. So after your initial study session with a stack of flashcards, yeah, you should, it's worth your time to pick that stack back up and practice again at least three more days after that first one. And ideally separated by at least a few days each time. The end game, what we hope to do is to build a computerized study buddy, for lack of what better to call it right now, um, a computerized study buddy that um, we can make widely available to teachers and to students. It, it's intended as a supplement to classroom instruction, not a replacement, but to help students structure their study um, schedules and activities um, to support better memory for course uh, class content. And in particular, the kinds of material that we work with now are, um, say, one to two sentence length definitions of key terms, which is a common um, kind of information or, or grain size of information that students are expected to learn across many, many classes. Again, the goal to be able to tailor um, practice to maximize both durability and efficiency of learning.